What does accessing and affording food mean to you? For around 9% of adults in Scotland, it means being worried about their ability to afford food. This anxiety or making compromises to the quantity and quality of their diet or the experience of hunger is known as food insecurity. And my work looks at this experience among single men in Scotland. My focus on this group comes from the fact that they're likely to be food insecure, with almost one in four men in Scotland under the age of 65 who lived alone reporting being worried they would run out of food. I'm interested in the story of their food insecurity and what it looks like for them every day. To explore this, I use a method called photo elicitation interviews. I meet them twice. The first time we discuss the project and I collect some background information like their age, the area they live in and how food insecure they are using a tool called the Food Insecurity Experience Scale. I then ask them to spend the next week or so taking pictures of what accessing and affording food means to them, giving them some prompts such as things that make the situation better or things that make it worse. We then use these photos to provide the structure of the interview and I ask them to tell me the story of their food insecurity to understand the factors and experiences that are most important to them. So far, I've spoken to 17 men across Scotland ranging in age from their 20s to their early 60s Common themes have included becoming food insecure following the breakdown of a relationship and no longer enjoying food, just seeing it as fuel. Being excluded from the everyday has been spoken about, particularly for men who feel unable or unwilling to tell those around them that they're struggling to afford food. Food as care has come up, particularly in reference to those with children who want to provide food to show love or when people are struggling and their friends provide them with leftovers because they notice it even if they won't say it. Discussion of the impact of benefit changes and sanctions to people who are already struggling to manage a tight budget, budget has been really, really frequent in those that I've spoken to. How isolating the experiences has really come through. Walking around seeing half-eaten food scattered on the ground. What you can't have, others can throw away. One participant spoke about um, the importance of the cup of tea, the great institution, the sign of care and comfort, and how isolating it feels to not even be allowed to be included in this practice due to a lack of funds. And so I invite you to consider his photo, his reality, and many other people's reality in Scotland, feeling as though you're being punished in some way. You're not even allowed a cup of tea. Thank you.